Uh, excuse me. Oh, oh. Oh, wait. Hey, do you need a hand with that? No, no, no I got it. I, oh, I'm all good. Are you sure? No, it's no, no, no. I got it. Oh, oh, oh. You dumb bitch. All aboard! It's me, Lucifer, on the you dumb bitch train, and with me, co-conductoring is Nero. Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, <laughs> Doctor. I was trying to think of a, a train pun, but then I got too excited. Um, we were talking about trains. So. Too, too. Oh, I forget that you're a train boy. You're just a train boy. Just a train boy. I like trains. <laughs> ASDL. I like trains. <sighs> How have you been? Yeah, What's new? What's the hats? What's the shebang? Nothing. <laughs> Your kid got his balls cut off. He's That's crazy. His balls cut off. He's in a cone. He's been Running in a cone for a while. You may hear him. We're in a new location and he's yeah, m- mucking around. Moved into a studio. Yeah. It's a work in progress, but it's it's happening. So if we're a bit echoey or something, apologies, but it'll get better. You'll just have to fucking deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> How have you been? Yeah. Not too bad. Keeping on, keeping on. That's good. Um, so I have had some leg pain lately and um i went to the doctor about it and he informed <laughs> he informed me that i'm a plant fascist <laughs> i'm like i think plants and trees are all right guys yeah. like it's what fine. do you mean so um he said that i have a plantar fasciitis it just sounds like you said the same thing twice and uh, it's yeah. very that <laughs> a plant fascist um so, like, I might be a bit slow and hobbly for the next few gigs, but... Welcome to the club. Um, I don't have any events in de- December, so I've got oh, Genesis good. at the end of the month, and then that's me done for the year. How does that feel? So, it feels pretty good. Because you're usually booked till, like, yeah, the yeah. end of the year. I didn't have any Halloween bookings this year. No. I stayed quiet for October. I don't I have think any... you were the only... Pres- drag person I know that was quiet during Halloween. It's, it's fine. And I'm uh, talking to a few of them, like poor Glitch mm. did like 10, 10 things in a week and Everything on the social was like this, this, this. I was like dying somewhere in some dark cavern. I, I messaged them about doing congratulations, you're dead this month. And like, can it be the end of the month? <laughs> I'm like, yes, you can. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, I'm excited for a little sleepover with them. It'll mm, be fun. That'll be fun. Watch some spoopy movies, but can not see spoopy enough up. to give them ideas. Yeah. Can actually see if they sleep upside down in a corner. Yeah, somewhere. they scuttle up and like <laughs> sit in the corner like an egg sack of spiders. Mm. Not like a bat. That's, yeah, too, yeah, that's, that's too normal. normal. <laughs> scuttle up and they like egg sack cocoon in the corner yeah um but yeah so i might be a bit slow and hobbly on my feet because it's extremely painful being a plant fascist so what is what is plant what is a plantius fasciata so it's something to do with the muscle or tendon that goes under your foot yeah. and up your calf so it's Fuck. like really tight so i need to do like toe stretches and stuff mm. um it's it's not treatable like the things you can do to make it nicer Manageable. but from what i've been told it's like injections and stuff in the bottom of my foot Ooh. and the doctor's like if we don't have to i'm not gonna make you because that sounds like shit <laughs> and and like, the doctor's like mm, yeah no. my guy i don't want that that's crazy in my soft bits yeah mm. needles aren't fun i do like pain but that's just cruel and you get to walk on it like straight after uh-huh. nah. it's like when you move your arm after a blood when i get a, i don't know about you but when i get a blood test my arm like is rigid for a good nah. like, twenty minutes. So I have. I also have hemo. Oh, let's just here's my medical <laughs> history. I have hemochromatosis as well. Isn't that the so eye thing? I, I no. What's I have? So hemochromatosis is a blood thing. Oh, okay. I have too much iron. Oh, okay. So I can't eat lots of steak or spinach or Nutri-Grain. I love Nutri-Grain, but I can't eat too much of it. Or I overdose on iron, which means I get nauseous. I pass out. I sleep for like 20 hours. Like, not well. So every three months, I usually need to go and get like fucking 20 vials of blood drained out of me. Really? Yeah. Fuck, okay. So you're you're a pro with the old blood. You're like, come on. Yeah, blood test. I'm like, (laughs) that's one thing. I'll tell you what's worse is getting things put in. Like when they inject like 
Have you ever had, I can't remember what it's called, but they inject a dye in. Like when you do CT scans or <gasps> yeah, MRIs. And it just as makes cold. you feel like you weigh yourself. Yeah. <gasps> right? Yeah. It makes you feel like you've pissed your pants. <laughs> I, I've laid there like a few times. I'm normal. like, fuck, it's happened. And as I lay there, I'm like, oh my God. And they tell you, like, you feel like you peed yourself, but you haven't. And I'll, I'll lay there and be like, oh shit, I peed myself. <laughs> And half the time you have. Yeah. Um, for fun though. Why is that? That's that's too much to yeah. even delve into this early in the episode. But like, yeah. But so yeah. I have hemochromatosis and apparently now I'm a plant fascist. <laughs> I think trees are all right. It's all but the doctor said so. That <laughs> I need to be more fasc- fascist to plants. Okay. I guess. So what do you... So you just got to stay off your feet more? Or? Yeah, so can't stand for long periods of time. Can't do like big walks and stuff, which is crazy because I walk from one end of town to the other to get to the appointment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too late. I'm like, my foot roll hurts. It's like, you should not do that get a taxi again. <laughs> um, but then that hurts worse because it hurts my bank account. <laughs> Taxis are expensive. That's true. You know, we have an Uber now. Oh, Yeah. That's an option. I think we have like the first Uber. Remember ever. when we had Uber one time and it got cancelled because the guy was selling drugs? I didn't know that. <laughs> I, I we was... had it two years ago and then it was too progressive and it was taken <laughs> advantage of. I um I must have been the Uber I because I was walking from South Nara to Bombardieri and I was like, fuck this. And I just looked, I just because I, I have it because I used to live in Melbourne and mm. this was like I had just come back and I still had the app because I had hopes and dreams for now or for a little <laughs> while and I was looking through I'm like oh shit there's an Uber and I got it and he's like oh I'm on my way to Wollongong but I'll pick oh. but I wonder if it was the same because he goes I'm the older Uber in now so he must have been the, the drug <laughs> selling <one>. drugs <sighs> all the way to Wollongong that's crazy <laughs> you gotta get it where you can I guess <laughs> like, um, they can't make that much money for him to go all the way to Wollongong and then driver and then have to drive all the way back home. That's fuel too much is enough. Petrol. Yeah, I guess. What's the craziest amount of like, walking you've ever done? Oh, like to get somewhere? Or? Yeah. I just remember way back when I was like crazy party era mm. me, 18, whatevs, I had these cowboy boots that I wore to literal death that I got through precarious situations. Um, I'll talk about that one day. Okay. Um, oh. But Maybe next episode. Um, I have walked. I walked from Bomadary yeah. to Berry. Damn. Yeah. Holy shit. The whole way. That's crazy. In cowboy boots. Oh, fuck. Because I was that bitch. <laughs> so I was. Did you party in Bomadary and walk to? Yeah. Um, and it was to bust someone doing the wrong thing. I, I didn't even feel exhausted. I was running on pure <laughs> rage. Was it I a was, partner? Yeah, oh, okay. I was furious. Yeah, yeah. So I and then walking so long and getting hot and heated up just elevated everything. Damn, you kicked the door. So down. by the time I got to the door, didn't even exist. The <laughs> door turned to dust in front of me. Just stared at it. Yep. Um, it was a wild That's time crazy. in my life. Maybe the craziest thing I've ever walked. I was living in Sydney at the time. The dark Ew. days. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and, um, I was going to school and I would have to take two buses from home to school. Mm-hmm. Um, and I caught the bus from school to the train station, but the bus didn't come. The next one found out later, the guy who was the driver had a stroke that day <gasps> oh and no God. one knew about it. And oh. so they just didn't bring a bus for like ages. Oh shit. And I was like, I want to go home. This is bullshit. Oh. So I walked from Liverpool train station to where I was living in Preston's. Which on the bus was about 35, 40 minutes. Damn. Or something like that. And so, yeah, it was like a good, like, few hours. Of, I ended up getting home at night. Damn. And mom was like, where are you? I was worried sick. I was like, don't know. The bus, I, was like, I walked. And I didn't think to, because at that point you could 1 800 reverse call. Yeah. And usually, like, you do that and you put your whole story in, like, say yeah. your name. Like, mom, I'm at the station. I need you to pick me up. <laughs> um, <gasps> Those were the days. <laughs> But I didn't think about it. I think I was just so narrow-minded. I wanted to get home. I think, if I'm not mistaken, a game had come out and I bought it. I think it was one of the, the GTAs. I think it was San Andreas. Oh, that was a good one. And I was like, I really want to play this. Remember when Grand Theft Auto was good? <laughs> you don't like San, Five? Oh, San Andreas is the oh, shit. Oh, San Andreas is, the, is the, the goat. Yeah. As the kids say. Um, but yeah, I just really, and so I was just narrow-minded. I want to go home and play this game before I got to go to bed. I didn't have time. 
Oh, <laughs> I pretty much had dinner after bed. all of that. <laughs> but I was, I was, yeah, very narrow minded about it. I should have called him and asked him to pick me up. But yeah, that's probably the dumb, the longest walk I've had and the dumbest walk I've ever done. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think about the fact that I walk from Bomaderi to Berry and I'm like, Jesus Christ. I get up and I walk to the kitchen and I'm over it. Yeah. I, I, don't, I, I mean, now that I drive, the last thing I want to do is walk somewhere. Like, for example, and I know we're kind of dragging on, but recently, so I've been doing TAFE mm -hmm. in Bomaderi yep. TAFE and um, the producer has been doing theatre work in Bomaderi, but like it's, yeah. it's, the other side of Bombardier. Yeah. Um, and we have, we've, until recently, we've had one car. So I would, she would take me to TAFE and then go do the theater. And then at like nine o'clock, TAFE would end and I would walk. And you can take like, you know, the street where the, at the, least that's down a hill. But you, you know, that street where yeah. the TAFE is. I don't go through it. It's pitch black oh. and it looks shady as fuck because it's all properties no, and shit. Carry so a knife. I, I go around, <laughs> I go, I go back on the highway down. And That's uphill. Yeah, it's all uphill. No, downhill dark alley or uphill lit alley. I know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah. Look at me. But I don't need to be scared of shit. But that's what I was going to say. People wouldn't touch you. Look at me. I'm um, five foot four. They'd and... be like, is that Adam Sandler? Punch him <laughs> for Jack and Jill. <laughs> Probably. And I'd be like, it's not me. I promise. I'll do a stupid voice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, let's get into the dumb bitch stories. Mm. We've talked about cars. We've talked about walking. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to talk about things you might have seen or not seen in our car. Mm. Okay. So, I take you back a few years ago. Okay. Um, I was with Andy. Andy. And we went out to the car because we are going to go for dinner somewhere mm. to go find food, hunt and gather, <laughs> all that stuff. <laughs> Pay money. And, um... We get to their car and they're like, oh, fuck, I didn't lock it. And I'm like, given where we are, my person, you should definitely lock your car. <laughs> you it's not a good part of down. town. <laughs> um, so we get in and we're driving around um, and we go around a corner and we hear a donk, donk in <sighs> the back of the mm. car. And I look back and out of the corner of my eye, I see a head duck down because it was like a... Um, like a the back seat goes straight to the boot. Okay, yeah, yeah. In the car, yeah. and it looked like someone... And had, they didn't have, like, the little lid? No, nah, they didn't have, like, the parcel shelf part. Yeah, yeah. Someone ducked their head down. And I Burn whispered to down. Andy, I'm like, Andy, there's someone in the boot of the car. I'm surprised Andy didn't just, like, and they're like, oncoming the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> well, almost. Um, it's like when Spider runs oh. out and you just crash yeah. the car and hope. But yeah, so we drove around trying to whisper a plan to each other, being like, what do we do? I don't know. What do we, what, what do we call someone? What do we do? <laughs> um, we drove around for 40 minutes. Fucking hell. And then like we, because we're trying not to talk too loud. So then the person knows our plan and they're yeah. like, oh, they're going to try and. Crawl over the back seat. <laughs> right. I need to crawl over the back seat to them first. I don't want to aggravate it. No. What do you do if you look back and they're like a half over crawling, like, like glitch? But like just one like legs come uh, over the, the uh, arms and you crash the car. You roll it six <laughs> times and hope you die. Yeah. Um, so and as we've talked about in previous episodes, Andy has actively tried to kill me with mm. crashing the car. So it's <laughs> sure. not a far-fetched possibility poor innocent andy um we come up with the idea to go to the police station okay so we're like oh we're gonna go drive to the police station now if anyone who shouldn't be in the car is in the car you have one minute to let us know you're here and we'll pull over and let you out <laughs> and i just imagine someone dead going silent <laughs> <gasps> could you imagine just a <laughs> <laughs> Ill potty humor. That's gross. Um, so we pull up. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna check. I get out. There's nothing in the back of the car. Oh, it was a trick of my eyes, and I'm like, fuck. Was it Andy shitty? You was like, I can't believe. No, you fucking... no. We were both like, oh, thank God. Okay, yeah, yeah. Could you imagine? And then like, what if I didn't see that and didn't think that? Mm. We would have just went about our day. But also, what if there was and we didn't see? That's that's another option. Imagine. Like, yeah, we. Were you headed home or you just... Oh, no, no you we were heading out. out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, okay. so you saw it before you... 
got to where we were yeah. going because we just got in the car with the realization that the car was left unlocked. Yeah, I like I, I do that sometimes. I'll I'll um leave the car unlocked. No, I always I lock the car and then I lock it again as I'm walking and then again before I get inside where I'm going. Yeah, and then again just, <laughs> just in, in case. case. It's like when you play a video game and you save and you're like... Oh my god, playing Pokemon, yeah. literally, I save it like six times before I turn it off and then I panic that I didn't save it. <laughs> yeah. Every fucking time. Yeah, so I'll always look... Like if I'm... Especially at night, if I'm walking back to the car, I'll look in the back seat. Um, yeah, just in case. But I'm sure there are people that do that and there is someone... Like, what do you do? <sighs> like, If I had my own car, yeah. if I drove, I'd have a tire iron. Okay. In reach at all times. For, like, other reasons as well. Like, obviously, like, fixing the tires. Yeah, yeah. And the iron. Well, I guess but, every, like, every... obviously for crack and skulls, too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> every, every car has a... Every car has a um a tire iron. Just how hard it is to get it is the question. Yeah. No, like you it would be it right next to my seat. <laughs> Someone wants me to pull over for them, cop or anyone. You grab it. I'll be like... <laughs> Cranial damage. Yeah, well, you know. Do you know the frontal lobe? No. The, the orbital bone. That's the one the by the eye? The orbital bone, yeah. this round one that makes that real loud crack when you hit it. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you hit that. And it'd be even louder if you put a tire iron to it. Yeah. <laughs> crack. <laughs> crack, motherfucker. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and then my little second one. Yeah. Night drive with a friend. We were going to... <laughs> so we just turned off the highway and we're heading that direction down the main road. And as we're driving, there's this giant tree that overhangs the road. Okay. As we're getting closer, I'm like, what the fuck is that? And my friend is like, uh, oh my God. And at the same time, we both click as what it is. Yeah. It is a person hanging by their neck over the road. Jesus. And we're like, wow, that's an unalive person. So as we get closer, we realize it's a mannequin. Okay. A mannequin had been hung in an RFS uniform with a sign being like, thank you to our fireies, because it was just after all the bushfires. But Jesus. also, I don't think that's the message you think it is. No, at all. That's crazy. Around the neck, like hung Not hung. like around the waist or like... Medieval times hung. <laughs> Witch trials. You might hung. as well just draw and quarter it and just throw parts into the. And they're like, "Yeah, we love you." And I'm like, "Wow, I think that." Mm, That's not how you're supposed. But to But in the night, that. as we got closer, we're like, "Oh my god, we're gonna need to be first responders to an unalive situation." Wow. That's crazy. Like, that was that's crazy. Nuts. So we both like, whoa, we got to the next chunk of road where we could turn around and we were just getting the fuck out of there. Yeah. On our way out, there was this big fleshy thing that was a bit bigger than a dog, but smaller than a horse that was running along the side of the road beside the car. It was a flesh-covered mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> uh, it, look... I don't know what it was. Was it running on all fours? I just want to say that's something that we uh, need to say for our other podcast. Other I think. podcast. That, we'll, that, talk, that, we'll take it to the cryptids. Whatever the fuck that was, I it belongs know. in the menagerie. And the other person was like, what was that? And I was hoping that they didn't see it because I'm like, that confirms that it, there was something. Mm. Oof. It was not nice, but it looked like skin. And it was probably a flesh-covered mannequin. That's Ew. gross. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's things that I've seen. Damn. In a car. Seen some shit. Maybe you should stop being in cars, I think. I think I You should, should. walk everywhere. <laughs> I can't. Your, I'm a plant <laughs> fascist now. With your plant fascist... Fa 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 I can't say the word. Fascist foot. You just need yeah. a broom. That's true. It's true. I need a reinforced steel beam broom. <laughs> <laughs> or you could do it. Um, you could get two little, like little um, <gasps> two uh, rumbers, two rumbers, rumbers like, like, like Mary, yeah, like Mary. Bless. That's what I need. <sighs> right. You got some fun facts for me, Mary. I do. But before that, I'm going to tell you a story again. Oh. <laughs> um. So you obviously. Do your Genesis and all that good stuff. Yeah, I and, love, I love it. I love and Genesis. You perform when you do it. I do. And obviously, the way you perform songs is great. I really love. Well, obviously, Summoned is fantastic. You have to say that. <laughs> yeah, I have royalties in it. I have to. No royalties. We what don't, stocks? We don't have stocks in the songs. <laughs> oh um, but also, um, 
I hate people is a fucking top one. It's a fun one. And the best part about that is it's two minutes. So I can do it at the start or I can do it at the end. I can just do it. It goes for like a minute 40 something. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's nice, short, sweet, quick. It's funny. People are like, oh, and I establish... I get to perform to a crowd of people that also a hate song people. that I fucking <laughs> hate people and everyone's like, wow, that's so good, so funny. I'm like, but it's true. That is true. I fucking hate all you. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I relate. I mean, you have you sound like, yeah, fuck them. <laughs> everyone's like, oh, you're so funny. I'm like, oh. but you, you did a song. So last Genesis, you've done this song a couple times or a few times now, but it's the share one from Burlesque. Yeah. Oh, you haven't seen the last of me. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Did you do that one? I did. I don't think I was at Last Genesis. That's because you just hate me. No, because I have rehearsals. <laughs> have you? <laughs> anyway, so I was sitting and I did it the I last time. I performed it. I cried. Everyone cried. You, you, you just hate yeah, me. Yeah, and you sang, like, you sang it, sang it. I did sing it, sing it. Which was fucking cool. That was wild. Um, Last time you did it, I also kind of hid in the corner. But this time I did as well because whenever you do it, I get teary. Like, it makes me emotional as, f- as hell. And not everyone does. Like, obviously, when Cher does it, we, we saw her live and she did it and it was fucking emotional. And But only you and her get me emo- and fucking wow. Terror Twins glitching and and, um, and Ronnie Cat singing in my ear. <laughs> not in my ear. They weren't like ser- Twins. They weren't serenading me, but they were singing like to the side of me. And it was just coming from all angles. And I just couldn't take it. And I was like mouthing Aww. to it. It was nuts. I mean, I'm not saying don't do it. Do it. It's fucking great. But if you see me hiding away, that's that's why. You just hate my performing. You're like, make it stop. <laughs> Please, I'll do anything. <laughs> oh, you just got lots of big feelings. I, I do. I keep them bottled up because I'm a man. <laughs> um, men don't cry. Men don't cry. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell that. How about we go and watch Fox and the Hound and you tell me who's a man, a man. <laughs> 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 I'm a fox and I'm a hound dog and I'm a blubber and mess. <laughs> it's true. Doesn't matter how manly you are. You that, fucking cry. That gets everybody. Yeah. It does. That and, um, you watch My Girl? Oh my God. He can't see without his oh, glasses. Don't even. I don't know why I gave her a list. I don't know. But like, I need to. <laughs> it works better. It makes it funny. So. I don't know. I think you were like channeling Velma a little bit too. I can't see without my glasses. Oh, uh-huh, that's true. You might be mixing media. All of them. Does she have a list? No, but she's a nerd. Oh, so wow. she has a more nerdy voice. Nerd. No, but like you know, like the old school <laughs> nerd representations. They always have Gwaven. that weird noise. Yeah. Gwaven, Naven. But she doesn't have a weird. Does she have a weird voice in the original? I, I, she does. I remember but having she, a very yeah. like very nerdy voice. High pitched, fucking. Is that Tara Strong? She do Velma. No, probably. no. That's. Movie, I think that's before. In the movie, it was that's um, before Tara. I can't remember her. Fucking name, but she's a great actress. She's Hawkeye's but that's, wife. Yeah, but that's the that's the live action that's different. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. yeah no one cares about live actions. I'm oh, we producer. do care about live action because it's got Matthew Lillard in it. Come on, <gasps> Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the things that I would do to Matthew Lillard. He's my like one celebrity guy. If Can I, I could just, just is he really one celebrity man and be a limp mouth? Can I say a little factoid that I found out recently about no. about him? Now this um, has a microphone that doesn't echo. She's all about it. <laughs> Fuck you. No, because I think that Lucy will appreciate this. It's Matthew Lillard. Yeah. Uh, so shut he, up, Neri. He actually used to uh, like kind of hate regret the role of Shaggy once upon a time okay. um, because it made it really hard for him to work afterwards. Um, he was kind of like tight cast. Mm-hmm. Uh, and oh, as a silly boy, yeah. So it was really hard for him get to get work. He got he went through a huge slump. Life was really hard. Like to, it was hard for him to like maintain the lifestyle him and his family had because he was not working as much. Yeah. Uh, and eventually, he like took a step back, and he was like, "I don't really need to be this extravagant. Like life mm-hmm. doesn't need to be this mm-hmm. hard." Uh, and when he took a step back and then jumped back into it and just you know, went for the love of the job rather than the money of the job. Uh, that's when his career started launching back up again and he started loving it again. Fierce. Uh, and now he's happy to be, to have been Shaggy to a barrage of children. I know that when he did Shaggy for the preparation to get into the role, he would go out of his van for the production and scream and yell and scream. So then when it got to being Shaggy, his voice was all like, yeah, oh, really? Really? yeah croaky and stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm like, dude, that could do permanent damage, my guy. 100%. 
But I, um, I do love Matthew. He's I a, do. He's a gem. I love him. He's funny. And I recently watched him in Five Nights at Freddy's. I watched it and too. And I'm like, oh, you, you age good with your beard. You <laughs> went from like sexy um, Stu Mocha to... Daddy Schumacher. <laughs> I honestly, I really hope they bring him back for Scream 7. I'm pretty sure they will. Oh, they have to wrap it up that way. I still haven't seen Scream 6. Mm-hmm. Saw Scream 5. Get out. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Dumb Bitch with uh, Lucy and Predissa. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Neri. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how it feels. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> anyway, I diverted you. I'm Thank sorry. You. Continue. Um... Yeah, so I think it's time for your fun facts. We lost some episodes. I think we've talked about that before. Yeah, um, so You've I- confessed your guilt. Yeah, oh yeah. And I'm refusing to acknowledge it. <laughs> Neri, so, you lost uh, <laughs> it. You dropped the ball, my guy. So I'm going to give facts of one of those episodes. So if you've heard this before. No, you didn't. Tough shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you've heard it before, no, you didn't. So, hippos can't actually swim. Although they run on the bottom of the water. Kind of. They walk. Yeah, they walk in, in the bottom of the water. So their bones are too big and dense to actually swim. So they just sink. They just go down, down, down with their little chubby <laughs> legs, and they're like bum bum bum, and then they come back up. Hippos are wild. I oh think. My God. It's crazy. I don't know if I've talked about it on here before, but I saw I was just scrolling one day on the Instagrams and I'm like, ha ha, cat videos, ha ha, ASMR, ha ha ha. And then it's like, oh, here's a uh, hippo in the wild. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. They're so crazy. It runs in the water, picks up a crocodile and shakes it in half. Yeah. Oh my God. They're fucking hectic. In half. Well, yeah. When, um, when we're not home, um, we put the animal, like, natural planet on for the dogs so that they, you know, have something in the background that's nothing too much. Yeah. And uh, the other day I was – I put it on while I was home because I was like, I don't want them to associate it with us not being here and freak out. Yeah. And it was hippos and they were having a full-on – like, it was the two hippos fighting for, yeah. um, like, the deep water. And the way they were fighting was brutal. Wow, there was, was blood nuts. and gore. And, and you oh let your fuck, kids man. watch this. <laughs> it was terrifying, man. They're like five. Yeah. They're babies. But also a gross fact. Have you ever seen what happens when they poop? Ew. It'll ruin them for you forever. Oh, they flick it with their tails? Yeah, the flicky and it just goes they every fucking their where. They shit. They just spray Everywhere. it. It's fucking gross. It's Hippos. like shitting into a fan. Hip- yeah, it's very <laughs> shitting into a fan. Um, Ruined. Ruined. Hippos are just... Hippos are cute aesthetically, but they're like... Oh, they're, and they kill the most people. I was gonna, yeah, yeah. They Pygmy the hippos people. are cute. Mudang, motherfucker. <gasps> Mudang. But, yeah, so they open their mouths and they just start mashing faces until one of them dies, essentially. <laughs> it's crazy. crazy. Oh, no, he didn't die. He, it, he, he got eaten by crocodiles. Oh, he did die eventually. He 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 retreated to the shallows and then, yeah, he died and got eaten by crocodiles. That's right. Spoilers. <laughs> the crocs <laughs> ate that motherfucker. And I learned something new about crocodiles because they can't chew. So yeah. instead of chewing, they death roll their food. Yeah, and into I knew chunks they, so they can yeah, they swallow, just swallow it. it. That's crazy. I thought they death rolled to kill. I didn't know no. they death rolled to eat. Yeah. All right. That'd be, Next, That'd be a cool name all, for a band, death roll, death, no roll <laughs> death roll to Eat. Death roll to eat. Drag name. Death roll to eat. That's Lucy's kill move. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next fact. All right. Next fact. There is a planet in the universe, obviously. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mostly made of diamonds. Ooh, I thought you liked that one. <laughs> I was like, if Lucy's got well, any what's planet, the planet? They don't doesn't doesn't have a name. They've just like they've seen it like in like satellite imagery and stuff. So then hold on. Yet. If we hear me out, hear me out. Okay. This is the commercialist capitalist coming out of me. <laughs> if we harvested diamonds from this planet, mm. would we not all be like loaded? Well, yeah. But well, no, because the value would go down. <gasps> it would. Because the, because the market would be, be oversaturated. And plus, I'm pretty sure that's where Marilyn Monroe lives now. So On the diamond planet. On the diamond planet. But yes. how do they know it's diamonds if they've never been there? <gasps> it's true. Maybe it just it looks could, like diamonds. Yeah, it could just look. It could be just like cubic zirconias. 
It's like, oh my oh, god, glass. here's my wedding ring. It's diamond. It's like, bitch, that's glass. <laughs> you cheap bitch. That's like five bucks. <laughs> you got that from one of those machines that you put 20 cents in. <laughs> a gotcha machine. <laughs> you, gotcha. Don't, you don't put 20 cents in any machines anymore. You got to put at least $2 in that motherfucker. Remember the days where you could just go to the shops, get a little paper bag of lollies for 20 cents? Oh, like the, uh, the red frogs and stuff. Mm. So good. And like ghost drops Remember and shit in there. Chicken feet? The what? gummy chicken oh, feet? Never. Oh, ooh. I wasn't a fan. I didn't. I've never seen that. Oh. I remember when I remember when soft serves were ten cents. Oh my god! Oh. Now they're like a dollar forty or something. Really? Yeah. I remember when they got up to fifty cent. I remember fifty cent. <laughs> yeah, they became a rapper. <laughs> I remember when they they came up to fifty cents. I was livid. Now they're a dollar forty. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> Third fact. Third fact. Most people don't like the sound of their own voice because of the bones in their head. They have there's bones. <laughs> Like the skull? Oh, yeah, there's in the skull, and there's bones near your ears that vibrate when you talk and make you not like the sound of your voice, I think, because your head's vibrating. You, sound, vibrating. Different. you yeah. sound different. That's why when you hear yourself recorded back, you're like, is that how I sound? That's why I sound so bogan when I hear myself back, not because I am a bogan. It's not just when you hear yourself back. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> do, you like the, what, do you like the sound of your own voice, Lucy? <laughs> Are you up yourself, Lucy? No. <laughs> Um, look, look, I don't. You got, you got what was it? Hema, the iron hemochromatosis. Yeah, which I thought was the eye one, the one with the two different yeah. coloured eyes, but it's not. Hedochromia. Hedochromia. Um, Hedochromia. And and then you also got the foot. The, the I'm a plant fascist that. with hemochromatosis so and if eye you like, problems. If, if, if you maybe you don't have the bones in your head that make you. <laughs> I I don't have bones in my head. <laughs> you got screw loose. <laughs> to be fair, um, that explains how some people think they can sing and they really sound like dying cats. Because wow, maybe they I feel hear. called out right now. Not you. I'm talking no, about. I'm talking like, about my brother. <laughs> why are you saying this the night after we sung a bunch of duets? No, I'm talking together. about my brother. <laughs> my brother, I love him to pieces. He sings like frogs in heat. Oh, <laughs> love that. <laughs> love you, Shawnee. No, I see that. That's the difference between me and him. I know I suck. <laughs> no, no, he knows he sucks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, look. I don't. I wouldn't say I like the sound of my own voice, but I do listen back to these episodes a week after they drop, just to, A, to make sure that we didn't miss anything mm. because we say some pretty fucking wild stuff sometimes, and B, um, I think it's fun to listen back, and I'm like, wow, because I have such a shit memory mm. that every time I listen, it's like the first time. I'm like, what are we talking about today? And I'm one of the ones talking. <laughs> <laughs> so it's great. It's the gift that keeps giving. Yeah. My biggest thing with that was the day we talked about the dude on the road, and you and you messaged me and said, "Why are we? Why are we um, shook?" Oh, and yeah. I was like, "I don't know." And then we were still back. I was like, "Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah." When that episode happened, I'm like, "Why are we so shook? What happened?" <laughs> but yeah, good times. Um, no. So, like, if we got a skull X-ray, there's extra little bones in our heads. I don't, well, I don't, I don't think, think it's, it's extra. Yeah, but is... like, babies have more bones than us because their skull is in like three parts. Damn. Wow. Okay. Fun facts, yeah. hey? <sighs> so mm. we have a writing. All right. I'm excited. Here we go. <clears throat> Howdy do. Cromslaw here with a little dumb bitchery. Cromslaw. Cromslaw. So. It's like so coleslaw, just... but crummy. Crumbslaw. Crumbslaw. Uh, uh-huh. Sounds like a good Jumping game Jumping straight in. Let's go. My fur baby has hip dysplasia. Oh, poor Bob. I took her to a specialist appointment in Western Sydney super early in the morning. It's a fur baby, sorry. Yeah, it is yeah, it a is fur, baby. fur baby. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Um, and she was going to be there all day for x-rays and oh. stuff. Jesus I didn't Christ, have... that would have been expensive as a motherfucker. Expensive as a motherfucker. I didn't have anywhere else to be and decided to have a wine, then a nap <laughs> in my car. Why not? He wants I'm... to be in Sydney when they don't have to anyway. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'm settled into the grass, enjoying a wine, and suddenly my ankle stings. I've been stung. Oh, fuck. I've been bitten by a billion things in the past, but this was different. I'm checking out the area to see what it was, but it hurts, and my heart rate has increased. I was alone in Western Sydney. (gasps) What's Western Sydney got a lot of? 
Only the deadliest spider in the fucking world, Final Webs. Oh. Oh, shit. I'm freaking out. My first aid brain is going haywire. I call my sister, but no answer. I'm going to die in five minutes if I don't do something. And they all wind up. I find a ratchet strap in my car. I tourniquet my leg and I call an ambulance. I've never called an ambulance for myself and I'm not talking on, uh, I'm not good at talking on the phone. The operator gets the information they need from me and tell me the ambulance is on its way. Okay. At this point, time is an illusion and I'm convinced that I'm already dead. The wine was wild. Or the ambulance will have to chop my leg off to save me from dying. Anyway, the operator is not having a good time. <sighs> Cue the ambulance. They have jumped straight into action, checking the bite, taking my blood pressure. I'm starting to settle down and get my breathing under control. I'm not dead yet. I'm going to survive. Turns out I was never going to die in the first place because what I thought was a deadly spider was actually just an ant bite. I had been sitting directly on an ant's nest. I called an ambulance for an ant bite and a panic attack. (laughs) After the adrenaline wore off and the ambulance left, I slept for a solid five hours, picked up my fur baby and drove home as if I didn't convince myself that I would have died that day. Moral of the story, don't sit on the grass, I guess. Go to therapy? Anyway, loving your podcast and enjoy listening to the stories of other dumb bitches like myself. <laughs> Many thanks, Crumbslaw. Thanks, Crumbslaw. That's a good one. Wow. wow. That was great. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That I love been it. That's an expensive ant bite. <laughs> yeah. That's an expensive <laughs> ant bite. I guess it would have been like a bullet, like one of those red ones. Yeah. I've been bitten by one of those and I'm fucking hurts i can understand like, being scared though like oh yeah i'd be terrified and to bit you. put your put your brain straight into oh my god there's fun webs everywhere i'm gonna actually die yeah but like australia yeah. is wild it is wild but yeah i like those those bites if it is the and i think it is hurt real bad i'm not surprised they 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 went straight to the worst mm. scenario because it hurts like damn to call an ambulance over an but if you think you're gonna, and a panic attack. But if you think wild. you're going to die, like, I don't blame them. It's true. It's true. Like, do you just die on a hillside in Western <laughs> well, Sydney? This is how I go. Wouldn't be the first. No. Don't whine and grass it. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> whine and grass. I should have probably whined in the Oh, car. don't grass and whine. <laughs> you know what they say about beer and grass. <laughs> don't do it. Don't, don't mix it. <laughs> don't mix it. That's crazy. Mm. I remember, you know how in... Like primary school, when you go into year six, you get a kindergarten buddy. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. You're yeah. probably too And when old you were a kindergarten, that. you had a year six. Buddy. Yeah. yeah. What is so, that? Mean? <laughs> I would have been old. in year six. <laughs> um, Didn't you get so. A <clears throat> wow. That. Well, how did they teach you how to be a responsible adult? <laughs> is that just a local thing? Maybe. That can't be just a local thing. <gasps> you tell us, listeners. Did you have a buddy when you were in year six of? primary school i, remember I still getting remember a... my my buddy when i was in kindergarten or mm. year one or whatever she was her name was tilly she was Aww, fucking sick cute. i don't I... remember getting a buddy in kindergarten or being a buddy in year six. i don't remember Damn. my buddy when i was in year six, i so. had sorry my buddy for less than an hour and, and she got one of those big blue ants with the big orange nippers Stuck in her sock. Oh no! It bit her once, and it just chewed. Her ankle was shredded meat. There was blood. Oh my there was God. flesh. There was chunks from an ant. Yeah, they're it's like the this with the, big with the yeah. big nippers. Fuck. They're fucking huge, and it had got stuck in her sock. It's just trying to find so it's just out. chewing her. Oh. She's screaming, and her sock was that wet with blood. That they couldn't like grip it enough to like get it, and it was just burrowing into her. Oh my god! I was just trying to find a way out. Yep. Oh my god! She, Ants she be wild. An she was the ant hill. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she's doing all right, but that would have scarred. Yeah. Oh chunks. yeah, yeah. But like, and scarred her. Yeah. Ooh, shit. You have your body for mo- body. Your body. You do have for your most bo- of the year. You do have your body so for like, most of the year. Did she come back or did she I, die? I don't know. I think she died. Did you get a new body? <laughs> 
No. They wouldn't have trusted They're anyone. not giving me more responsibilities. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They were like, yeah, no, you can't take care of a child. Have you ever been curious, like, whatever happened to this girl? I have. I couldn't tell you her fucking name. Oh, okay, fair enough. Not like you're going to, like, stalk her on Google Google or anything. I'd be like, hey, did you die from that ant bite or what? (laughs) Are you still here? Are you alive? (laughs) Maybe she listens. Ant buddy, (laughs) if you're out there, (laughs) tell us if you're alive. Yeah, I went to... That school. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if someone got their fucking foot shredded by an ant, I don't think, I don't think that's a common occurrence. Yeah. So if you're out there and you're listening, you know who you are. Yeah. If you're in <laughs> kindergarten and had a buddy, in what year? Oh no. Two thousand six. Okay, there we go. I was lucky like that. Year one, two thousand one. Year okay. two, two thousand two. That's easy. At least I could remember what year I was writing on my school books. That's, that's true. That's true, yeah. All the way to year 12. Slay. <laughs> well, in case you missed it, this is You Dumb Bitch. Thank you, everyone, for coming along and listening to us ramble and babble on. Um, please do rate us five stars if you love us. And if you didn't love us, don't fucking touch the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the stars alone. Yeah. Just back away. Slowly. Um. But yeah, leave reviews, tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like, and we will see you next time on You Don't Bitch. Bye. Bye.